serenity, a lot of white, a calmness, and if it's a beautiful sunny day, there's nothing like it. For the mission, I was the chief hydrographer. One of our primary focuses is to collect bathymetric data. What does that mean? That's we're collecting depth information. The type of system that we're using is called a multi-beam system. We operate through sound. So we send a sound beam through the water column and listen for the return. We would reach depths in excess of 4,600 meters. So that's four and a half kilometers. One of the main goals that we wanted to collect samples from the bottom. And in order to do that, uh, we need to have a certain type of feature. We needed something with a steep slope, whereby our uh, accompanying vessel, which was the icebreaker Odin, they were equipped with uh, dredging equipment. And so we would, with our multi beam system, we would do the mapping of the area, which in essence gave us a 3D image of what the bottom looked like. And we transferred the data to them, and they were able to better select and uh, be more efficient in their collection of the data. And it's quite interesting living on a ship. Uh, I'd never been working in ice before where you're crashing through ice and at times it's not uh, all that comfortable. When it comes together it's a beautiful thing and it happens as well. There's that synergy on board where you've got three departments that are communicating and cooperating and we've got sometimes two or three different types of science going on all at the same time. So that's pretty fabulous. I think we're making history for Canada. I mean, you're helping, you're one of the individuals of an incredible team put together to help Canada define, define its limits. So yes, I think we're history making. From a personal perspective, it's interesting, new, it's unique. Uh, the wildlife was fantastic. Experiences that many people in the world won't have. So truly cherishing, let's say.